Did you know you can regrow missing or damaged teeth with a tiny device that gives off a very specific frequency of ultrasound? Just like other great inventions, I wonder where this device disappeared to. So, there was this guy, Ryan Smith, a hockey player who got a puck straight to his face while playing. That day, his smile changed forever. But hope was not lost. Things started to get interesting when researchers at the University of Alberta were onto something that could have saved smiles like Ryan's in the future. They discovered a way to regrow human teeth using ultrasound. Yeah, you heard that right. This genius named Tarek El Bialy was playing around with ultrasound on rabbits for something completely different when, bam, he noticed their teeth started growing like crazy. Then he thought, why not try this on humans? And guess what? It worked. People were growing new teeth in just a month by using this device for 20 minutes a day. The original machine was a beast, too big to be practical. So, El Bialy teams up with this nanotech wizard, Ji Chen, and together they shrink it down to something you could practically use at home. They were dreaming big, thinking this could be a one-and-done treatment for missing teeth. They even got a patent, and there was talk about this hitting the market in just a couple of years. Imagine that, a world where losing a tooth isn't a big deal because you can just grow a new one. Dentists, especially those treating athletes who know a thing or two about losing teeth, were all over this. They were seeing a future where dental disasters on the field or ice weren't so disastrous after all. But despite all the buzz and the hopes riding on this tiny miracle worker, it just vanished. Poof. Gone. No one knows what happened to it. This invention that could have changed dental care forever just slipped through the cracks. And that's the story of how a real-life invention that could have made tooth loss a thing of the past now vanished. What do you think? Would you have used it? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and follow for more videos like this. Have you heard anything about 432 hertz, the mystical frequency said to have unique and special healing powers? Well, this is the real truth about 432 hertz frequency no one will tell you. I'm David Wong, your go-to guy for all things sound and frequency. I work with tunes, beats, and affirmations to give your subconscious mind a major boost. Why? Because believe it or not, our subconscious is behind the wheel for most of our life's journey. Some people are a bit skeptical about the 432 hertz frequency since it's not part of the famous solfeggio frequencies. And yeah, that's totally true. But that doesn't make it any less awesome. Science and research has shown that 432 hertz can really chill you out by doing some pretty sweet stuff like cutting down anxiety, lowering your stress hormone levels, slowing your heartbeat to a calm rhythm, and even helping you sleep better at night. Basically, 432 hertz is proven to have a positive calming effect. Now, don't get me wrong. The solfeggio frequencies are a set of tones known for their healing effects, with powers like boosting cell health, fighting off the toxic effects of alcohol, pumping up testosterone, and reducing stress levels. Take 528 hertz, for example. It's a real powerhouse for making you feel confident and empowered by tuning up your solar plexus chakra, responsible for our confidence and feelings of empowerment. But the most important question is, how do these frequencies make you feel? That's what really matters. And the only way to know is to try them out for yourself. Trust me, giving it a shot could be a game changer for you. You can go to my website to listen to the frequencies, stay as long as you like. There are free, powerful, energy-boosting frequencies that can help you energize. So what do you say? Are you ready to explore the magic of the 432 hertz frequency and see how it vibes with you? Let me know in the comment section. Like and follow for more videos like this. So. Here is the difference between the old Rife machine and the new Rife machine, the crazy leap from the huge old-school machine to sleek pocket-sized gadgets. These old Rife machines were no joke, you would see these huge gadgets, and it was quite stressful to use, you have to dial in the frequencies one at a time, you'd have to stand there, turning knobs to get the right frequency. Say you're trying to tackle something specific, let's say, intestinal inflammation or for diabetes or something, you'd need like 10 frequencies. So, you'd have to start flipping switches, dialing in one frequency at a time, and then just sitting there for a few minutes before you have to do it all over again for the next one. It literally takes a lot of manual operation and to learn how to use it. So here's what I did. I've been developing software for a few years now, and one day it just hit me. I thought, why not make this whole thing a lot simpler for people? Why don't I just make a software and make it easy for people to get this therapy wherever they are? You see, the idea was to take all that complicated knob turning, switch flipping hassle, and turn it into a click of a button. So I got to work and created this software that basically does all the heavy lifting for you. Instead of the huge machine, you've got this sleek little device, right? You literally just turn it on and set it down, maybe on your desk or even in the middle of a room, and bam, it creates this field around it about 20 feet wide. You could be chilling on your couch, moving around, 
or even have a few friends over and you're all getting the benefits at the same time. It's that simple. A lot of people are surprised. Oh, that's it? I thought it'd be more complicated than that, but it's not. I took out the complicated part and then made it simple. I made chi energy and life force simple. So yeah, that's the story of how we went from those old rife machines to something you can literally carry around and use without breaking a sweat. It's pretty cool, right? So what do you think? How do you feel about the transformation from manual knob turning rife machines to the modern app controlled versions? Share your thoughts in the comments. Like and follow for more videos like this.